Hello and welcome back to Photo Walkthrough. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new version of Nick Software's Color Effects Pro version 4. And uh, now I've been using Color Effects version uh, Color Effects Pro version 3 for a couple of weeks. I bought it uh, um, a few weeks ago after I bought and used Snapseed for the iPad, which I love to bits. And I thought, well, it's about time I gave their uh, their desktop software a, a, a try. Now, I'll be honest, I've never reviewed it before and I've never bought it before because it was kind of expensive. And I've always thought, you know, do I really want to spend nearly as much again as I spent on Photoshop to get the plugins? Now, I've got to tell you, I, I should have got this a long time ago because I really like uh, the plugins that I've got now. Um, but let me show you the brand new version. This is Color Effects Pro version 4. This is going to be kind of partly a review, kind of partly a uh, tutorial walkthrough on how I used it to create uh, this particular image. So let's jump on. We've got a, a photograph here of the lovely Manon, who is one of the model models that came around Manchester with us um, a couple of weeks ago. We were traveling around the center of Manchester here in the UK promoting a, a new academy. Um, that that Wellshot, which company that I do a lot of training for, um, is going to be setting up in Stockport. So that's coming up in a couple of weeks. And we were just wandering around the city centre with these models taking photographs. Um, and this is one of the pictures where Manon was sat in a doorway, uh, looked up at the light. I just wanted to get um, some nice skylight in her eyes. Um, and I think it worked out very nicely. Um, so what I've done is I've just right clicked on the image here in Lightroom. And I've chosen Edit In, and you can see we've got Color Effects Pro version 4 here. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to say, Do I want to edit a copy with, with Lightroom adjustments? I actually clicked on a TIFF here, so I'm going to say Edit the Original and click Edit. Normally, if you're working from a RAW file, the, the, the option won't be there to work on the original. You'll only be able to work on uh, a copy. So uh, you will at that point choose edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments uh, and there are no Lightroom adjustments this is uh, literally how it came out of the camera so let's take a little wander around the Color Effects Pro 4 uh, interface here obviously we've got the image in the middle and we've got a couple of buttons here that let us control how we see that so we can see the before and after with the uh, with a slider here which we can rotate around and and go up and down as well if we wish just by clicking this little doohickey on the gr on the red bar we can also do side by side comparisons and we can go back to the single view at which point we have got a compare button to turn on and off the adjustment so you can see we're already at the moment using one of the filters um, and if you look over here on the right you can see which filter that is it's the contrast color range filter at the moment and um, that's just the last thing I used it's remembered that from the last time and uh, so it's just loaded those settings in from last time uh, now, uh, so that's on the right hand side where we've got all our sliders for the filters that we're using. We've also got the loop view down here at the bottom which has also got a histogram mode if you, uh, if you want to see how your image is looking in a sort of a technical sense. Um, over on the left here we've got the filter list which is where we've got, um, as you can see we've got all selected at the top. Um, so here we've got all 55 of the complete collection uh, filters. There are two versions of Color Effects Pro. Pro. There's the select version, which I think has uh, 22 or 23 filters, and the complete version, which has got all 55 or 56, I think it is. I lose track. There's a lot. Um, and so this is the complete list, but we can filter this list by uh, our favourites, which we select by clicking the little star next to them. Or we've got ones that are good for landscape photographs, wedding photographs, architecture, nature, portrait, and so on. And there are actually some other groupings that you can select from in the preferences as well. Um, so that's the filter list, and that's where we would go if we wanted to choose a particular filter. So let's start off by doing that. Let's choose the dynamic skin softener. Now this is this is not uh, one of the new filters. This is uh, the same filter as was in uh, Color Effects 3, and it does a really good job. You can see over here, we've got a little uh, swatch color that lets us choose what the skin color is. So let me just start off by choosing something way out so that you can see how this image looks. Now a quick keyboard shortcut for you, really really useful keyboard shortcut. If you hit the space bar, it will zoom you in. And if you hold the space bar down, you can click and drag around the image. Now, you might argue whether or not I actually need to soften the skin at all. Uh, Manon is uh, 17 years old, and therefore 
uh, doesn't really have much in the way of wrinkles uh, but uh, despite the fact that she's got beautiful skin already we're going to do a little bit of uh, skin softening anyway just to give it that sort of glamorous look um, and you've got this eyedropper here next to your color swatch I deliberately chose a color that wasn't in the skin so that you could see how the skin looks beforehand I'm now going to just click on the skin to choose the color of her skin and watch what happens to the skin when I do that look at that it, it's really really tidied it up but we can still see pores, we can still see shape in here. It's done a beautiful job of softening that skin without losing any detail. We've still got a little a little blemish there that we might take off in, in Lightroom later on. There are no tools here in uh, Color Effects for spot editing or anything like that. We still need Lightroom for those jobs. Um, so here on the right we've got that skin color selected. We can say how, how many colors we want this, this to affect. If we drag it to the right, it will affect more colors, colors that are further away from this. Or if we drag it to the left, it will affect less colors. So we can really target it on the skin if we want to. Um, we can also affect how much softening it applies to small details, medium details, and large details. Um, now, I've found that, that these settings, I, I set them once, and I haven't played with them ever since. So, 2010.5 works pretty well for me. Um, I'm just going to zoom back out and uh, give it a second to re-render. One of the new features in ColorFX Pro 4 is that it will actually use your computer's uh, graphics processing unit to accelerate all of these uh, operations and that is a very welcome speed improvement. Uh, ColorFX Pro 3 wasn't slow by any means but it is noticeably faster in ColorFX Pro 4 and um, it, particularly if you haven't got many filters there these sliders produce very quick uh, visual results on the image so you can really play with them and experiment with the sliders just to see how you get the image to look. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Please help support the show by using our sponsor's promo codes or by passing the promo codes on to your friends. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com. <laughs>